Hey guys, welcome to my super messy room. Uh, I wanted to show you something kind of cool that I built a while back. Um, so first of all, you guys know I'm a total lighting nerd. I love it. It's a lot of fun to just wire up lights and blow away the night. Go on some trails when, you know, there'll be no one else on them. And just uh, light up the woods. I think it's a pretty awesome thing to do. And I don't mind spending money, uh, clearly. Got this LED bar that I took off a little while ago. Got these you know, boxes of Baja Design, super expensive stuff. But um, while I've had a lot of forward visibility on my truck and still have, you know, almost 30,000 lumens worth on the front, uh, something I've been kind of lacking is uh, rearward visibility, or at least other people, giving other people the ability to see my truck on the trail just in case um, someone comes up behind me. Not that I'm going at any high rate of speed, but you know useful. So I built this a while back. This is a really cheap and removable um, rear flasher. All right. So what I have here is this is a like a six or a nine inch um, LED bar from toughleds.com. T-U-F-F-L-E-D.com. -E uh, it's a combo bar. I don't know if you can see. Uh, these are flood. These are spot. It's not Create like it's a Chinese bar quality is not like you know not even close to Baja designs, but it's pretty good. I got a tiny bit of condensation in it, but It never like just around like the corners and it never spreads. So I don't know It's you know, it's not the highest quality thing, but it works. It's really bright. It's like 3,000 lumens for uh, the optics aren't great, but I don't really need them to be that great for this purpose so what I did was I bought some suction cups and I uh, took some of the leftover um LED mounting stands and I epoxied them on the top yeah, pretty rough right and uh, so this sticks on my rear windshield or uh, rear window sticks on and then I've got uh, some rubber bands too that I can just fold the rear headrest down and rubber band it around and it's pretty pretty uh, haggard go check out haggard garage videos <laughs> but um it's pretty haggard but it's like uh, it works. It's pretty solid. I ran it for a little while. And then what I have here is a flasher unit from like IJDM toy or something like that. It can handle, I don't know, 30 watts, 20 watts, something like crazy, something like that. Four watt, uh, four amp output. So plenty to run this little bar. And then just, uh, bought off Amazon this, uh, car adapter. And what I did was I took this end piece out and put a 10 amp fuse in there so this thing won't, the fuse won't blow uh, when I run this LED light. And this is, uh, this little flasher unit's actually remote controlled. I've got like a little fob unit that I can just change the flash pattern. There's a whole bunch. It actually works really well. Um, for like less than $70, you get, yeah, definitely worth less than $70. You get like 3,000 lumens worth of projected rear visibility it's really impressive i'll show you guys tonight but i wanted to show you this thing and just uh show to you that i mean you can build something pretty temporary easily and uh stick it in your truck and pull it out and it works great you don't have to spend massive amounts of money to get some serious trail visibility all right so uh it's almost dark i'm gonna film again once it uh, gets really dark and we'll go out and hit perry again and i'll show you guys this thing in action all right, now it's not too bright in my garage, but I wanted to show you how I set this thing up. Set that there for a second. Got my nice LED interior lights going on. So what I've got is, uh, this is just an access cab. So these, you got these little like, rear, uh, rear seats, not a bench, but pretty close to it. Actually, maybe I'll do the other side. Hey, you know what? I think I'm going to do the other side. Unless I can fit. Let me see here real quick. Yeah, never mind. I'll just do this side. Alright. So it fits right up there. What I'm going to do, though, is... Uh, I'm going to flip it over first. I'm going to have rubber bands. I don't really need the rubber bands. I just uh, like to keep it from moving around too much. The suction cups are actually really strong, and this thing won't like move around too much once I press it on there. 
But uh, what I'm going to have is rubber bands going from here, the support, uh, down around the seat support. I don't know if you can see. And then up to the other one. So basically it pulls it into the windshield so or uh, rear window. So I'm going to do that real quick. All right. So I've got it set up. See, I've got some rubber bands there. Nothing crazy. It's not going to move around too much. Um, you could secure it more if you were going on something crazy. But that's pretty solid, actually. And uh, so we've got this car adapter here. I'll just take it stick it in this plug and then what controls it it won't turn on right now and you could tuck this all under the seat I have before it looks pretty clean I mean you got a wire but you know it's this is temporary um, you got this little fob <laughs> it's cheap little thing but it actually works it won't work right now because the trucks went on but you can even uh, pull out the antenna like that so you can get some pretty good distance on this flasher unit and uh, lock it turn it on off and scroll through the flash patterns so let's get out there and try this thing out. So we're almost at the trail, but I just wanted to stop here for a second. Check out that moon, guys. It's beautiful. Really, really, really big. Really bright. It's going to be like daytime, even when twilight's completely gone. This is just a little pond. I don't even know what it's called. Right before the trail. You can hear some frogs. But a uh, pretty beautiful night. Just rained really hard, but just cleared up. Nice and cool. Perfect night to be out hitting the trails. Alright, let's drive up another half mile or so and get to the entrance. Alright, here's the entrance to the trail. Still looks pretty nice. Just want to turn on my lights one by one. I always do it, but I figure some guy stumbling on my videos, I gotta see my setup, right? So, here are the Hella 700FF HID converted, 55 watts a piece. Looks like they're aimed up into the trees, but uh, really they're just aimed a tiny bit higher than my high beams. Um, so they're for distance. Really, 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 really focused beam. I'm actually impressed at how focused it is for being such a, you know, like it's not factory HID. Alright, and then um, just for kicks and uh, shits and giggles, here's my Casey Highlights orange amber 10-inch uh, bar. C series and then I'm gonna turn that off for a second and then the Baja Design Squadron Pro spots and Baja Design Squadron Sport wide cornering and then the uh, spots up here on my CBI ditch uh, ditch brackets those are the squadron sports again but in spot pattern and then the amber light back on that's a lot of light guys probably doesn't show up very well in the GoPro but that is a lot of light and I love it every single time I turn them on totally worth the money especially if you're doing stuff like this I'm gonna go down a little bit and then I'm gonna show you the flasher still just the entrance to the trail nothing bad this whole trail is not that bad I can hit it in two-wheel drive but it is nice beautiful little passage through the woods broke my GoPro mount like you guys saw so I'm just gonna have to hold the camera today crazy all right I'm gonna get out for one second I'll show you guys this flasher in action so I got before I get in the dark here, got my little remote, got the little antenna. This is the on button, that little lock symbol. I don't know if you can see. Yeah. And uh, these do the flash pattern. So here I'll fire it up real quick. Alright. It's the first pattern. I don't know what it is. I don't know flash patterns. Sorry. But that is pretty visible. See if I can change the flash pattern. Alright. There's that one. And then just a constant little fluttering one. A slower one. A even tempo one. And 
and then I can just turn it on solid if I want to. Which actually gives a lot of light. I don't know if the camera will change that quick, but definitely a lot of light. So that's not that much money, and that's a really powerful flasher. Plus, I can use it as a regular light bar, too. I just have a little amber film over it. So, uh, it flashes uh, yellow, ambery color, so it's a little less, less harsh to the eye and more of like a hazard light instead of uh, just a visibility. Yo, check out this still water right here. Nasty, look at that. Got through it no problem, but that stuff looked gross. Had it in four just in case, but it really didn't feel like it needed it. It wasn't that deep. Just a little pond. Trail's pretty wet tonight because uh, it just rained, like I said. So this trail, a lot of puddles and stuff, a lot of little holes. Gotta be careful because if you come up on them too fast, uh, you'll really beat your suspension. I mean, this one can take it, but I still don't like to push it if I don't have to. Go through over here. Still in four-wheel drive. I don't really feel like switching out. Over this little rise right here, I think there's some, yeah, there's some bumps that I came up on really fast one time. and uh, I think my teeth almost came out of my head. Brutally, brutally bumpy. Oh, there it is. Nice and easy. Just got the flasher on a solid color right now. It's just a little rearward visibility. It doesn't bother the eye too much. I got this auto adjusting mirror that Tacoma's come with, so it filters it out pretty nicely. Mm, a little bumpy. One of these days I'll film the suspension actually flexing. I can get it to flex pretty good on even this little stuff. Nothing crazy. There's another trail that goes down in there. Um, oh, it's deeper than I thought. Um, I cannot, I walked it once, or I, t I parked my truck at the entrance and walked up it. I can't quite get over it, unfortunately. There's a couple, um, like, uh, pieces where the trail is slid away into a small brook that are just you'd need something with much bigger tires and a lot more ground clearance like even my suspension travel can't can't make up for it I'm gonna go around this rock to the left that's a little piece of plastic you hear dragon it sometimes pops out of the little fender wall I've yet to trim it off. It would take me two seconds, but for some reason I can't find the time. You know how those projects go. There's a few rocks in here that I really don't want to scrape on. Ah, there's the plastic again. guys it's about it let's take it out of four clutch back in and yeah that's about it i'll see you back at the house